Quebec barber is getting attention for taking his trimming to the next level. A photo of Franz Jacob has gone viral. It's a shot of him cutting the hair of a seven-year-old child who has autism. The boy's mother took the photo of the tattooed barber lying on the floor to finish off the haircut. It's been viewed so far more than 850,000 times. Franz Jacob joins us now from his barber shop in Rouen, Noranda, Quebec. Franz, thanks for joining us today. Good evening, Morella. Tell me about this photo and what led up to it. Pictures has been taken uh, about 10 days ago. Uh, we were finishing the haircut and uh, Wyatt's mother, Fove, just took the picture and put it on Facebook like one or two days later and it just went viral. It was and crazy. Why did you decide you had to lie down to, to finish this haircut with Wyatt? What was going on? Because when I do Wyatt's hair, uh, he all, he's always moving around. So I do like a few minutes on the chair, a few minutes beside the chair. Sometimes he sit on his mom's lap and uh, he, he just decided to, to, to go on the floor and I just followed him. You work it, with other autistic children as well, I believe. Yeah, this is happening sometimes, yeah. All right, and, and do you often have to lie down to, to finish your, your cut, to finish your work? Only with two kids, Wyatt and another, and another one. But each time I'm doing Wyatt, is always we're always finishing on the on the floor. Yes. Do you find it challenging to, to have to do it that way? Not really. I'm just following what the clients want. You know? <laughs> it, it's it's normal for me to just you know do the extra mile for my client. You know, I don't see anything difficult doing that. I like challenges. So for me, it's you know it's another day. Uh, at the office, if you want. And what does, Wyatt, what does Wyatt's mom say about all this? Because obviously you've been extra accommodating uh, for him and for others. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Wyatt's mother is the first one here uh, who talked to other parents who had, you know, special kids, if you want. And uh, all the other kids came after uh, Fove talked to them about me. And why do you think those children connect with you the way they do? I, I think I'm easygoing with them. I'm really following them. You, you know, it, it's, it's taking me like 90 minutes to do one haircut, you know? It's not like a regular client. So I'm really following how he's behaving and uh, yeah. And I'm sure other parents also appreciate that. Yeah, I think so. I mean, when those kids come here, they always stay quiet and they don't scream and there's no tears. That never happened here. You know, I'm giving them candies, we listen to music, we walk around the barber shop. As you see, there's a ton, there's loads of stuff around. So the kids is, you know, surrounded by things. So we don't really, I think you don't really have to, time to uh, think about something else, you know? There's a lot of things to process here, so. What do you think, think about, about What do you think yeah. about being called an everyday hero? When I heard that this morning, I cried. Oh. When we were on CBC this morning, I heard folks talking about that. And, you know, uh, I had some tears because, you know, I, I'm just a regular barber, you know. There's many barbers, you know, all outside who are doing, you know, like huge day, big days, you know, all the time. And, you know, I'm just doing my job, you know. And it's, I don't know, I don't see myself like that, but, you know, I'm just doing my best all the time here for my community. And uh, it pays off, yeah. Obviously, the way that you do your job is very well appreciated. Barbara Franz Jacobs, sir, thank you for joining us. Thank you, ma'am. Good for you. Take care. Bye.